Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back. Let's dive in for today's video. It says here in Mark 2, Jesus healed a paralyzed man because of his friend's faith, right? This is why your circle matters. This is why your circle matters. Let's look at the verses that I chose to connect with today's post. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 through 12. It says two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. Three are even better, for a triple braided cord is not easily broken. It's not easily broken. I love it. I love it. Our friendships, our circles, we have to consider them. We have to consider who we let close to us because someone said that if you look at the five closest people to you, you are an average of the five closest people to you. So if you surround yourself around good people, you're going to have good flowing through your life. If you surround yourself around foolish people or hateful people or evil people, those things are going to impact your life. So again, the, the reason why this man was healed is because his friends decided to help him out. His friends brought him to Jesus. His friends tore up the roof and lowered him down to Jesus when they couldn't reach him. His friend's faith led to his healing, led to his deliverance, led to his help. Your friends are going to either help you or hurt you. So you have to choose them wisely because, again, it, it's just... As grandma would say, birds of a feather flock together. If it looks like a duck, quacks like a duck, it's a duck. We, we keep thinking that we can be connected to people without allowing them to impact us. And that's not the case. You need to choose your circle wisely because your circle is going to have a drastic impact on your success in life. And whoever invites you into their circle, make sure you do everything you can to add to that person's life, to help equip them for the Lord, to add encouragement, to pour uh, support, to push them toward being a greater man or a greater woman. If someone brings you into their inner circle, that's a that's like a badge of honor. That's like the greatest compliment. So if I tell you you are a friend to me, that should tell you how valuable you are, because I don't call everyone a friend. Again, I stress this. I'm friendly with everyone, but I do not call everyone my friend. So choose your circles wisely. All right. Day one in the books, guys. I pray that that encourages you. I pray that you'll do a self-assessment. Look through your life right now. Who is who has an important role in your life? Are they good for you or are they people that you might need to sever those relationships because that relationship might be doing nothing but bringing you down, bringing you harm, leading you further away from the Lord. Anything in your life that leads you further from God, you do not want it in your life. I'll say that again. Anything in your life that is leading you further from God, you don't want it in your life. All right. Again, I pray that today's uh, video was an encouragement to you. Don't forget to click that thumbs up button if you were blessed. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet. And I pray that you will join us for the rest of the videos for this week. All right. Watch it, share it and live it. Now, let's get busy living the life. God bless you.